diagram. It is known as an energy diagram which does not exist in uh, physical form just as we see geometrical figures here but it is not also imaginary. It has some reality also. It is uh, some sort of energy in reality but in subtlety. Likewise, microphysiology that deals with uh, subtle energy centers of the body. Number one, acupressure and acupuncture. They deal with some subtle points which are graspable only by exposure and experience, which cannot be just proved with the anatomical devices or treatises. Number one. Number two, Tanwalaji it deals with lot of uh, Varma Sandhis and Granthis. There is Varma Sthana, Varma Sandhi and Varma Granthi. Varma Sthanas are independent centers. Varma Sandhi is a Tanwalajical junction and a Tanwalajical hub is known as Granthi. It is a knot. So, I have seen lot of people in Kerala just if they give you a small tapping here, you cannot move your neck unless it is re-locked or <laughs> and is unlocked by the person who has done it. That is uh, of immediate and instantaneous effect. And if there is a Granthi Sandhi and that individual elemental station is there. It is a station, junction and knot in English. So if a person touches here and puts a knot, then immediately you cannot move like this. Like uh, the Varada, Abhay and Hastas of all deities, you must be having like this only till it is unlocked by the person or any other capable person. That is also microphysiology that deals with uh, microcenters. And uh, the most uh, deepest thing, there are three types of uh, microphysical centers. There are three types of microphysical centers. They are known as the Sthulasthana and Sukshmasthanas. And in Sukshmasthanas also, Sthula Sukshmasthana, Sukshma Sukshmasthana, Sukshma Tama, Sukshmasthanas are there. So, subtle, subtle, subtler, subtle and subtler, subtle. Tangible, subtle, more tangible, subtle, most tangible, subtle. We have to just classify only like this. And in this subtlety also, let me classify into three subtlety. Subtle, subtlety, subtler, subtlety and subtler, subtlety. In subtle, subtlety, we are having acupressure and acupuncture points. In subtler, subtlety, we are having points of tanwalaji, like sthana, sandhi and granthi. In subtler, subtlety, we are we have seen the tanwalaji point. If you go behind that and beyond that you can see the subtlest subtle points of chakras the centers of spiritual consciousness and these three sciences of the acupuncture the acupressure as well as the tanwalaji as well as the mystic science which deals with the centers of spiritual consciousness they come under the subtle subtler and subtler studies of microphysiology that is known as microphysical system of healing then psychophysical system of healing is there like a telepathy, telemedicine, telesurgery, now they have introduced with communication technology without which we can do also with mind communication that is known as psychophysiological. Then there is paraphysical training with spiritual power. So these are all the four major schools of healing sciences. Then let me divide the type of healing, definition for healing, qualities of a healer, and methodology of training and types of uh, healing and purposes of healing and areas and organization skills of healing and also some exercises for healers like you which can make you to augment your healing power and distribution power and magnanimity also to do it in a larger scale with a cosmocentric theory with a cosmocentric broad base that is what I am going to just explain but anything whatever I can say yesterday I explained to somebody that there is a juice which you can just drink and there is honey which you have to lick and dilute inside your mouth and by a sublingual uh, dilution and amplification you have to just drink it and uh, regarding coconut then you have to crush it, masticate, munch it and then take it likewise uh, such type of lectures dealing with varieties of uh, other multiversatile dimensions depth, uh, density and analytical scrutiny that requires uh, a coconut exercise you have to take it uh, in small dosages with um, frequent equivalent uh, duration intervals very normally unless see for appreciation yesterday I have already told any person speaking gets four benefits one is appreciation second is astonishment third is adaptability and fourth is application and what I want where we will be more benefited is if you adapt it and if you apply it then merely astonishment and appreciation is only possible and seeing the fluency or the torrential shower of a person's content, cogency, etc. That is not the purpose of anybody's lecture. Any, any really deep-mindedly altruistic person will not show anything for appreciation but only for adoption and application. Likewise, you have to take notes or you have to take records and you have to just have a process like what that is very common with the cattle. They used to just swallow something 
and they used to digest the thing, same thing, reproduce the same thing in their uh, mouth and they used to remasticate it and digest it. And uh, that is known as, that is known as a bovine nyaya. It is known as a bovine exercise. And the uh, second exercise is of a cobra. A cobra that will swallow a goat and that will just uh, lay for a total rest, inertia for months together. Likewise, a deep contemplation and meditation after gaining energy must be undertaken by you. You either be a cobra or be a bovine. Take those exercises and be practically successful and get the infallible triumph of this knowledge order. Then, let me come to the explanation about the healing systems. There are a lot of therapies now. Lot of therapy. Somebody, they told that uh, uh, they are a specialist uh, in homology. Somebody told that uh, exponent in homology. I saw a visiting card. Then I, asked, I, I was very much accustomed with lot of ology. I must say with apology that I have read, heard and experienced with lot of ology persons. With knowledgeable, knowledgeable association, I have got a glimpse of lot of allergies. I have never heard out of his homology. Then I told that uh, doing homas is homology. He explained. <laughs> Like a lot of uh, emerging technologies are coming, homology and uh, even fatherology, motherology, I don't know what they are going to bring in future. Now you are seeing a mushroom growth of healing techniques. I have told about the mega techniques. The mega technique, reliable techniques are five major schools of medicine, which are physiological or psychophysiological, I have told. They are very reliable because they have their treatises, they have their diagnosis equipments and they have their own practical methodology of uh, treatment that they are possessing. Like Ayurveda, Yunani, Allopathy, I have already told them. And uh, there are some set of uh, subtle energy healing systems like Reiki. In Reiki also, there is traditional Reiki, there is Tibetan Reiki, there is Karuna Reiki, there is Hypno Reiki, there is Cosmo Reiki, there is Atmic Reiki, Parapranic Healing, Pranic Healing, Consciousness Management, Cosmic Abundance, Pendulum Therapy, Solar Therapy, Crystal Therapy, Crystallography, Magnetic Healing, Submagnetic Healing, Radio Asthesia, Reflexology, Color Therapy, Aroma Therapy, Taste Therapy, Biotherapy, innumerable therapies are there. And uh, everybody, within three days you can master. You can learn it in three days and practice from the fourth day itself. You can get the cosmic energy. There is nothing known as cosmic energy. There is nothing known as cosmic bank. I want to say there is nothing known as a cosmic energy. The will and wish of God, Deva Sankalpa is known as cosmic energy. For example, you say that uh, I have got a letter from post office. Abhimani vyapadeshastu visheshanu gatibhya. Whatever we are getting from ancient sources, we are getting it from the sentient backgrounds. For example, the village is happy. The whole town is uh, now in a festive mood. The national security is obstructed. Now the nation is developing in economy. Are they directly just focusing on a nation as a geographical crust or a geographic crust or that deals with the inmates or a selective group of inmates of the society? It deals only with the abhimanis, the persons who are occupying and not with the structure. If you are calling a person carrying tomato, as tomato, hey tomato, come here, you are carrying. You are just calling a person with tomato. It denotes a person who carries the tomato and not the tomato. Likewise, cosmic energy, what is cosmos? Cosmos is of galaxy. You cannot get energy from a mere small atom here. Or can you get a derived energy from a handful of mud? Where are you going for getting cosmic energy? Cosmic spirit, universal spirit is known as God. And he cannot give energy on the basis of his adaptability or your capability. He can give it on mercy. For example, you are bringing great people, great orators, and you are giving them cool drinks like soda or some other cool drinks you are providing. For just either speech or for just reducing his speech by a chill drink. <laughs> and uh, moreover, you are seeing somebody unconscious in the road. 